What have the Democrats done to help Americans or the economy? They have no ideas, no message, no leadership, and no plans. All they have is obstruction, violence, bitterness, and hate. They refuse to listen to the American people, who are speaking loud and clear. We want the division to stop, and for Democrats and Republicans to work together to push through the America First agenda we voted for. However, Democrats, who are the party of illegals and refugees, refuse to do that, and are today planning to try and impeach President Trump. This is yet another foolish, absurd Democrat stunt, which accomplishes nothing but wasting time and money, and the American people are getting sick of it. From Washington Examiner The House is about to vote on impeachment articles against President Trump. Democratic Rep. Al Green of Texas said he will force a vote on impeaching Trump as early as Wednesday. Republicans will easily table the symbolic vote but it will put lawmakers on the record. Three prominent Democrats have asked to meet with me to discuss impeachment, Green said on the floor Tuesday. Green appeared to be referring to members within his party's leadership who have urged him to stop his campaign to force an impeachment vote. I will tell them I refuse to sit on the sidelines while the world is considering one of the great issues of our time, Green said. I will tell them that tomorrow we will bring articles of impeachment to the floor of the Congress of United States of America for a vote. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and her leadership team have tried to suppress talk of impeachment, and appeared successful in convincing Green to withdraw his privileged resolution to force a vote in October. This time it looks like Green is going through with his plan. Five other Democrats have signed on to impeachment articles that were introduced in November. The symbolic vote could help Democrats roll up their base, but their leadership and other members fear that a premature vote to impeach Trump that has no substantial impact could enrage the president's base ahead of the 2018 midterms.